Hi everyone, in this lecture, I will show you how to convert a Kiwi Python application into an APK. So before we actually start into conversion method, let me mention you that there are two major problems which are faced commonly during conversion or maybe after conversion. And the first one is that uh, after converting your application and whenever you click on the application icon, your application crashes after pre-splash screen and the second problem is that if your application is not uh, crashing then you see a black screen or maybe a white screen so you are unable to see the content on your screen so first of all let me tell you the solution of the second problem which is a black screen or maybe a white screen and this problem is actually associated with our dot uh, kb file so you need to be very precise whenever you name your dot kb file so bulldozer basically uh, read only those files whose name starts with a small letter uh, this means that if your this test dot kb file starts with a capital t then the bulldozer will not actually read this file and you will see a blank screen because all of your content lies in this file and then the second problem is that uh, if your application is crashing then this means that you are not adding the requirements of the app in the spec file of the bulldozer uh, for example this is a very simple application i have just kiwi md so if i open my uh, command prompt and if i type here pip shrw show kiv kiwi md you will see that uh, it will show me the requirements of this package and that is kiwi and pillow so this means that whenever you define your requirements in the bulldozer spec file you also need to define this kiwi and then the pillow and if you define these two files then your application will not crash you can use the same method for other packages as well so now let's talk about the conversion method so there are bunch of different methods uh, you can use ubuntu uh, you can use google collab uh, you can even use github but uh, in this method i will go with google collab because uh, it's one of the easiest and the fastest method of conversion so just open uh, google collab and um, uh, just create a new uh, ipython file and i will give all the instruction down below you do not need to worry about all of these instructions so first of all we need to import our uh, files so here one thing you need to keep in mind is that uh, the name of your python file must be man.py otherwise bulldozer will not read your python file so make sure that you rename your python file to man.py okay so just go to the uh, folder okay and then click on this icon and just select your man.python file.py file and test.kv file and then open them after opening these two files uh, you need to run these cells step by step so first of all we need to install bulldozer so just run this cell and after installing bulldozer uh, we need cython so just install cython and then run this third number cell And now here uh, after running this cell if you get any kind of error then you need to run this cell which is apt get update so we need to update the system before running uh, this cell okay but if you do not get any kind of uh, error then uh, you do not need to run this one so now let's it's time to initialize our bulldozer so just uh, run this cell and uh, I will say yes hit enter and bulldozer file has been created but we are unable to see so let's refresh it and here as you can see we have a bulldozer spec file so just double click it and here you can define your uh, app title but i will go with the default title and then you can define your app name and everything else so all of them are important but one thing in this spec is very very important and i will discuss only that part and that is this requirements so here now inside this requirements uh, i need to define all of the packages which i have used in my application so uh, obviously my application is written in python 3 so that's why i uh, here i have python 3 and then kiwi so you need to be very very precise when it comes to kiwi so i need to define the specific version of kiwi which i have used in my application so just write here double equals to 2.0.0 
RC3. This is the version of TV. And now, along with TV, I need to define pillow, P I W L or W pillow, because uh, TV and pillow were required by TV MD. And now I need to define my man module, which is TV MD. So this is the requirement of our application. And if you have used some other packages, uh, you can define them. But make sure that if you have used uh, those packages which are operating system specific or machine specific then uh, it may be possible that uh, those will not work on your android phone so make sure that you should use only those packages in your application which are platform independent okay so after defining requirements uh, if you uh, if you want uh, some permissions uh, you can define your permissions right here and for example if i want internet access permission then you need to remove this number sign okay so it's a comment in uh, bulldozer spec file and you can define your further permission as well but uh, i think i don't need permission okay so I just keep it as it is and then you need to save your builders bulldozer spec file and let's close it and now it's time to start our android debugging so this will take maybe 10 to 20 minutes okay depending on the complexity of your application so let's click on this cell and I will say yes so it is cloning our Python for Android and then it will download NDK and uh, it will also download the SDK if it is missing And now here you need to accept this license so just hit y and hit enter and now this will start the conversion so let's wait for the conversion after converting our python to apk you will see this type of message which is android packaging done and apk my app this 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 which is the name and here you can see that we have a bin directory and when you open this bin directory inside this bin directory you will have your app and uh, you just need to download this app so just click on these three dots and click on the download and uh, this will download your apk uh, so after downloading your application in your downloads folder just uh, transfer it to your phone and after transferring it to, to your phone uh, you just need to install it so i have already installed my application so let's open this application and see it okay so this is our screen and let's wait and here you go this is our simple counter application so if i click on this plus as you can see number is increasing if i click on minus everything is fine so this is how you can actually convert your tv application into an apk and i hope uh, that you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial and if you have any kind of issues regarding kiwi then let us know and uh, also please share uh, the log file of your errors as well in order to understand that what kind of issue you are facing and also please subscribe our channel there are still uh, some problems uh, with regarding kiwi conversion so we are working on them and uh, as soon as we solve them we will share all of those solutions with you so in order to keep yourself up to date just subscribe the channel and i will see you in the next lecture bye bye